Okay, this is uh, for the guys working on the jewel ringer project, the uh, laser saber jewel ringer project over at the Energetic Forum. And uh, this is a replication of the French circuit. And uh, I worked on it all day long, and I like this one. And this is one that I may go ahead and box up. And it's um, a lot harder than the uh, XEE2 circuit uh, driving that uh, transformer. But the dynamic for putting out light versus uh, amperage, um, I liked. I liked the way it performed. And the best thing was the heat. I, I did not have a problem with any heat here in the circuit at all. The transformer actually gets a little warm, but uh, not these components. And uh, what I liked about it, it's just a basic little simple flip-flop circuit. Um, a stable multi-vibrator, been around for a long time, but uh, the, the French gentleman, um, and he's probably not the only one that's ever done this, he's driving the transformer through MOSFETs, and a MOSFETs can handle this much better than a regular NPN transistor, and uh, this works real good for driving that uh, transformer at about uh, 60 to 90 hertz, I figure. It's not very, very fast, and it makes tremendous light. And uh, there's the amp draw. It's 140 um, milliamps at this point, coming out of a 12 volt battery. And I don't really mind this because of the way this is working. It doesn't make any noise at all uh, at this setting. And uh, these are the specifications uh, that he called for, by the way. If you go to my favorites um, on my channel, this uh, video is on my favorites list. And it's in French, so you'll have to kind of uh, either decipher it or bear with it, whatever, but it's got lots of diagrams and drawings and good de demonstration of how this circuit works, and I really, really liked it. Um, the other thing it'll do is, e because it puts out a sawtooth uh, waveform, one of the guys ran a, a, a simulation on a computer and found out what this looks like and the dynamic of how it runs. It puts out like a sawtooth. Um, it, it'll run better with stuff in parallel, and let me turn this light on right there. And you can run uh, run parallel stuff because it's just like an AC line. And it bumps the amp draw up, but the circuit handles it. And like I say, uh, I ran a whole bunch of stuff on this. Uh, it'll charge your cell phone, um, do all kinds of stuff, but it won't run anything that's heavy heavy load. It's a, it's a light load kind of situation, but I don't mind that because the light output... Um, is uh, quite good and I ran three of these in a row um, paralleled and they all put out real good light and it, it went up to about uh, 25 uh, 250 milliamps uh, on the 12 volt battery and it was excellent light so I'm thinking this might be something I box and um, for those of you that don't <coughs> don't know what's going on here what we're trying to do is we're trying to produce light for the least amount of wattage output that we can. And these new LED lights, I'm pretty sure are going to overtake the CFLs because of the amount of power that they require for the amount of lumens of light that they put out is superior. Even though they're expensive, the price is coming down on them, I think we're going to end up seeing these uh, in everything. So anyway, if you get a chance, go to my favorites. Take a look at that French video of the... Um, the um, inverter circuit. Thanks for watching.